So let's talk about monitoring our system performance, particularly in terms of memory and CPU usage. So we've already looked at one way we can do that, and that's using the PS command. And if you remember correctly, PS is process. We talked about this in a previous video on managing processes. But just as a real quick review, PS, AUX, show me all user, include the user, and do things that are running as system processes. PS, AUX, and then I can sort this by percent CPU and the negative sign or the minus sign in front of PCPU says sort descending. So sort of by a percentage of CPU, uh, percentage of CPU usage. And then that will display all of them to me. Or I can say, all right, just show me my, I want to see my top 10, which means I'm going to do dash head 11, which will show me my first 11 lines because my first line is going to be this little header line. And that will show me my top 10 CPU uh, processes by CPU usage. Do the same thing as percent of memory usage. Now, this is great because it will show me who's using my memory or what process is using my memory, what process is using my CPU. But if I want to look at total usage, I can use the command free. And this is going to give me my total memory, how much is used, how much is free, how much is shared, how much is uh, cached, so and how much is available. So kind of useful, but it shows it to me in total bytes. So if I do free dash M, it will do that in megabytes. And that's a little more or a little easier for me to use. So <clears throat> One of the things you're going to look at here is you're going to see, all right, this has 163 megabytes of free memory. That means I'm probably getting really, really close to running out. Actually, it doesn't. Uh, we have a bunch that's being buffered, and that can be freed up. We have some other processes that can be freed up pretty easily. The key thing we want to look at here is swap memory. How much is that being used? Swap means I'm writing things out to the hard drive because I don't have enough memory to store them in memory. And so the more I have in swap, the slower my system is going to run. So the fact that that's at 3 megabytes is actually a pretty encouraging sign. Okay, let's talk about processor time. We're going to come back to memory a little bit later with another tool. So one way to look at our processor time is with the command uptime. And uptime will show me my system time, how long it's been up, how many users are on it, and then it's going to give me this, my load average for the last one minute, three minutes, and five minutes. Now, the higher that number is, the more uh, under stress our system is. Basically, that number is going to be the number of tasks that are waiting for CPU time on average over that one minute, three minute, five minute interval. So you can see we're running, you know, 0, uh, uh, 0 0.01. So you can see we're not having a lot of contention for processor time, which is really cool. That means actually it's one minute, five minute, and 15 minute, not one, three, five. One minute, five minute, 15 minutes. There we go. That sounds better. Um, so this is kind of useful, but this, like the free, is showing me a snapshot. Now, there is another tool that we can use. It's called HTOP. It's probably installed on your system already. If not, it's just sudo apt install HTOP. And HTOP is great because it's going to show me live data. In fact, if you look at my CPU time here, you can see this is actually changing. This is going to show me my live data. So CPU percentage, memory, swap usage percentage, and then and then it's going to give me my processor ID, my users, my priorities, the command that we're actually running. So all kinds of really useful information. Now, a couple of things to be aware of. Uh, if you hit a U, it will actually let you group things by user. So let me show everything for David. And here are all of the processes that are related to me. And then down here, 
you're going to see lots of other different options like help set up search filter tree tree is actually something i think it is is really cool um my text size is a little too large for you to be able to see it really well but if you come over here you're going to see these things treed out so you're going to see which uh process is dependent on which one uh you can adjust the niceness up or down, you can kill a process. So lots of different ways that you can use HTOP and lots of great things you can get out of it. You can hit the F2 and this is your setup. So you can set up your meters, what you want in the left column, what you want on the right column, what meters are available. You can set your display options, your colors, which columns you wanna see. So all kinds of really great information. And then you can hit Q to quit out of HTOP. So that is another great tool that you can use to keep track of your system resources in uh, your Ubuntu server.